Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with the FNS 9C versus the CZ P10S. Both polymer frame, striker fire, double stack mag, subcompact, 9mm handguns that enjoy a fine reputation. I've owned the FNS for about four years now. I've had the CZ P10S approximately three months. And you can see from the slide comparison that the P10S over here is a little bit longer. The width of the slide looks the same. And over here we have approximately the same. Both have their extension. You can see that this one goes down a little bit more. That is an aftermarket extension. I'm going to talk about that. But you can also see that the P10S, uh, the grip is a little bit thinner. Both fine handguns. Let's start with the FNS 9C. It comes with three magazines, two 12 rounds, this one with an extended base plate, a flat base plate, and a 17 round mag, and the MSRP is $649. Your average gun store price right around $540 will get you the FNS 9C. This one here has night sights. The thing that bothers me a little bit about this is dropping that mag. It does have an ambidextrous magazine release, which is good. It's left-handed friendly, ambidextrous slide stop as well. But you really have to push it, and you have to position your thumb at a certain angle to drop that. I find myself using my trigger finger to, to drop it. It takes a little bit longer, and it I never quite settled into it. So that's the only thing that bothers me about this gun. I like everything else about it, but quick mag changes just isn't for me the trigger is a hinge trigger i measure it at five and a half pounds sometimes five and three quarters but it is a hinge trigger brakes pretty nice no over travel at all and here's what you're looking at for your reset front serrations i like that slide cut in there i think it looks cool it kind of sets his gun apart from that angle looks looks pretty neat it does have a 1913 rail pretty aggressive texturing on the grip and as i mentioned ambi controls 3.6 inch barrel with night sights three mags and an extra back strap is what you'll get in the case with the fns 9c it's been outstanding for me and i've enjoyed owning it but now we have the CZ P10S, and, and this is a game changer too. Very popular. You know, I've taken it to the range on several occasions, even though I've owned it for three months, and I, I love it. It gives the same impression and the same shootability as the P10C in a smaller package. Now, I said I'd talk about this. It does come with two 12-round magazines. This is a plus two extension from HB Industries and it was only 10 bucks so it allows three finger contact as well as 14 rounds in the mag so I, i'm going to use it. it it's already proven to be reliable and i i like it now it also comes with two back straps additional back straps as well as the one installed and the msrp on this one because it's optic ready is 577 540 is your average gun store price if you can find them I thought they'd be more available by now. They're not. I, I have no answers for you guys. I don't know when they're going to become more available, but hopefully shortly, because I know a lot of people are interested in this. So the local gun store price for each of these are right around 540, 550. 3.5 inch barrel, texturing pretty nice, not as aggressive as the FNS 9C. Okay, you can see that's a little bit more aggressive but the trigger is pretty outstanding does have a trigger bar safety in there i measure it right around five pounds sometimes five and a quarter and it breaks no over travel either and there's your reset very short reset for the p10s also has front serrations a 3.5 inch barrel tritium front dot combat rear sights accessory rail and the mag release drops easier for me from the the p10s than the fns 9c the mag release can be switched over to the other side and the slide stop is ambi as well let's go ahead and weigh these guns 
and we'll see the differences here. We'll start with the FNS 9C. The unloaded weight, one pound seven and a quarter ounces, just ounces, 23 and a quarter ounces. Unloaded P10S, 25 and a quarter ounces. So we're looking at two ounces heavier with the P10S. Now we have 12 rounds. Let's start with the P10S this time, 12 rounds. 30 and a quarter ounces. Here we have 12 rounds, same loads, target loads. What do we have? 30 and a quarter with the P10S and 28 and 5 eighths with the FNS 9C. So a couple ounces lighter with the FNS 9C and we'll drop both those and show clear again. To disassemble the P10S, you just pull the trigger Pull the slide back a little bit, and off comes the slide. We have a dual uncaptured recoil spring, and here's your 3.5 inch barrel. Easy disassemble with the FNS 9C, just as simple. We'll lock the slide back, turn that down, pull the trigger. There we go. And this has a captured recoil spring, and here is your 3.6 inch barrel. The CZ P10S is a subcompact gun, but it's on the larger side of the subcompact class. It does have a 3.5 inch barrel, but if we compare the slide length with the P10S versus the M&P 2.0 compact, you'll notice that there's not a great difference in slide length, maybe a quarter inch longer with the M&P 2.0 that has a four inch barrel. So this is a large subcompact. The reason for that, I believe, is because this is optic ready and that takes up some space. There's no question about that. I told you a lot of what I liked, told you a couple things I don't care for, and now it's time for me to pick one, if I could only choose one. The FNS 9C has been outstanding for me. I've always enjoyed it. I mentioned I carry it on occasion. It has proven itself to me and I find it to be an excellent gun. The P10S I've owned for three months, but I've taken it out quite a bit and it feels and shoots outstanding. Plus I have a 14 round mag with that extension. So if I had to choose one, it's gonna be tough and it's gonna hurt, but I'm taking the CZ P10S. There's just something about that trigger that excites me and keeps me on target and I find it to be an excellent all around handgun. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.